Lee, it's been 80 years since Harold Hoffman walked through the doors here at Central Catholic High School, and tonight all eyes were on him as the Fighting Irish recognized the World War II veteran during a special ceremony at halftime. Under the Friday night lights, celebrating the red, white, and blue at Central Catholic High School. I can't believe it. I just never expected anything. The Fighting Irish honoring World War II veteran Harold Hoffman. He obviously was the first name on our list. Hoffman, part of the Central Catholic class of 1943, serving at masses and working behind the scenes for theater productions. But shortly after graduation, his trajectory changed. Hoffman was drafted to serve in World War II just one semester into college. Harold was somebody who was drafted into the Navy and got to serve in very difficult times and uh, is just uh, a blessing to have here. After he was drafted, Hoffman served aboard a ship that went to Pearl Harbor. On the way, his ship was caught in a storm, damaging the watertight doors. So instead of going on to Okinawa, Hoffman's ship went into dry dock in Hawaii. I just can't explain in my own mind what was happening. I, I, I just do things that I never expected to be here. Social studies teacher Hank Wetzel says honoring the heroes who put their lives on the line is something they can't do enough. Our veterans are people who sacrifice for us to have the freedoms that we get to uh, enjoy on a daily basis and this is a great way for our kids to be able to see the faces and hear the voices of those individuals that took part in that history. As for Hoffman, he's happy to be back on Cherry Street cheering on his favorite team. Are you still a Fighting Irish fan? You also, bet I am. <laughs> you bet I am. <laughs> This is the second year in a row Central Catholic has recognized a veteran during halftime. Wetzel tells me he hopes to make it a tradition every year moving forward. Diane.